Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. And we have loads of announcements this week, including you can now use DynamoDB to monitor the status of your account limits. AWS have announced new end-user computing consulting partners. Shared VPC now supports a whole bunch of new services. EC2 on-demand capacity reservations can now be shared across multiple AWS accounts. And we announce the winner of Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Faye Ellis. And with me, Ryan Cronenberg. So DynamoDB now publishes account metrics to help you monitor capacity consumption against your account limits. And you can set it up to send an alert if you're getting close to your account limits and even proactively request a limit increase. And you'll find the metrics in the metrics section of CloudWatch and it's things like maximum number of read or write capacity units that can be used by an account. So you can use this to alert you if you are getting close to your account limits so that you can take the appropriate action. This week, AWS announced a new end user computing competency. And this is like a register of partners who offer AWS approved services to help companies implement secure end user access to applications and data in the cloud for mobile and contingent workers. So these companies can help with strategy, professional services, managing infrastructure and optimization of end user computing technologies on AWS, all following best practices for security, performance, and availability. So Shared VPC now supports a whole bunch of new services. And if you haven't used a Shared VPC before, it's a VPC which allows other AWS accounts to create their application resources, such as EC2 instances, RDS and Lambda functions, into a shared centrally managed virtual private cloud. And this is great for companies who use multiple AWS accounts, for example, to segregate their production or their development and test and dev environments, or to segregate different business units. So you can now launch a whole bunch of new services into a shared VPC, including things like AWS Glue, which is a Manage, Extract, Transform, Load, or ETL service, Amazon Elastic MapReduce, which is a big data platform, and Aurora Serverless Database clusters into your shared VPCs. You can now share Amazon EC2 on-demand capacity reservations with another AWS account or within your own AWS organization. And if you haven't used on-demand capacity reservations before, they allow you to reserve EC2 capacity for any duration that you need so that you'll always be able to launch that specific EC2 configuration type whenever you want. And this new announcement means that this arrangement is now a whole lot more flexible because you can now share the reservation across multiple AWS accounts. So this means that organizations with multiple accounts can now plan for their capacity needs at an aggregate level and optimize costs and capacity utilization. So on to Guru of the Week, and the correct answer this week was B, and the person with the best answer is Mark Lachinsky, and Mark is a senior cloud architect at TimeHop in New York City. So congratulations to Mark. There's a Cloud Guru t-shirt sticker and hand-signed card on the way to you in the post, and you are also in the draw to win the free ticket for reInvent 2020. So please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our forums. And that's it from us. You've all been watching AWS this week. Keep, Keep being awesome, awesome Cloud, Cloud Gurus, and we'll see you next time.